Down here, let's see. Okay, here, let's see. Okay, here, let's see. Okay, here, let's see. Can you hear me? 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 Let's see. why it's so so crazy there we'll turn that one off and now hopefully everything is better guys gosh almighty I apologize <laughs> I apologize on that one so let me uh I think it's ironed out guys I really do so let me see if I can go back to uh, home go back to uh, let me see all right, just now, so good. All right. And close some of this stuff down so I can see what the comments are. All right, so it looks like I got three people viewing right now. We do have the uh, pool up and running. We hit six blocks yesterday. Um, we did uh, push a update overnight for the uh, US here. Let me click in here so I can see some comments. Hey, Nick. Uh, hey, Michael. Uh, I think I saw Zaf looking in. Hey, Zaf, uh, throw a comment, throw a like down there. I've got, uh, can you hear me, see me, everything looks good? Let me know. I don't see any comments right now. So, um, it should be showing on there, but uh, I don't know if you guys can hear me or not. So, somebody please answer me in the comments. And, uh, okay, I saw a like. So, cool. Um, so here's the deal. Can you hear me good, Nick? I hope so. So, um, just to let you know, guys, um, we're going to go over this really quickly, and I'm going to... Hey, what's up, Joey? I'm going to actually show you how to get your awesome miner working. All right, so bear with me if you got a minute. I understand. All right, so cool. Everything's good. Um... As you can see in the background here, we're looking at the Ucrypto Stellite pool on ucrypto.com. No www, just ucrypto.com. It'll take you here. Um, let's say you want to mine with us, but you have a Mac or you have something else so um, that you can't do. We actually added this down here to the bottom, the web miner. Okay, right here, web miner, you see it? We'll go over this easy, easy part right here. So if you're like Shadow and you're using a crappy Apple Mac product, I'll, I'll show you. You can click on web, <laughs> I'm just pulling your leg, Shadow, you know. Yeah, I went there, buddy. <laughs> so you click on the web miner, it's gonna open up a new page like this. Um, I have already put my Stellite wallet address in this line. Once you put it on this line, you merely click the start. Now I wanna show you something here. You see where right now on our page it says 11 connected workers, I'm sorry, 11 miners, 17 workers, okay? So just to show you this is working, it says 11 connected miners, 17 workers. Um, I'm going to go to the crypto web miner that I have set up. All I had to do, guys, is put my wallet address on this line. Copied and pasted it on there, um, and you click start. And it'll start mining. So it's going to take a second so you guys can see. I'm going to give it a, a brief second. You can see the lines, the dots going across the screen here. It's probably lagging a bit because I'm streaming and I've got my CPU going. But here shortly, you should start seeing hashes going in. If I don't totally freeze out the whole computer. Um, and I might because I'm streaming. But when I did it earlier, it actually uh, would start showing hashes up here and then hash is accepted. And when you do this, it's gonna go, matter of fact, you know what, let me stop that. Let me pick auto threads. 
I don't know, maybe that picks eight automatically. Let me dumb this down a bit so I don't uh, kill out while I'm uh, doing the video. We're gonna hit start and see if it starts hashing in. It did earlier, but I wasn't streaming a video either when I was doing it. But at any rate, doing this was very simple to get people mining in the pool. Ah, Mike. <laughs> I'm just picking on you Mac guys because I know Sumo uh, wasn't working when I talked to uh, um, Shadow. And this will start sending shares. Why it's not uh, updating here, that's a good question. Let me reload. Try this again. All right, so... It was adding, um, I just did this earlier, guys. At any rate, it popped us over here and you see now it's 12 connected miners and 18 workers. So, and 13 and 19. So, if you guys are clicking on it right now, it's automatically starting to adjust for everybody right coming in so that's easy easy oh Joey you already doing it all right so it's um you you see it just pops in there let me scroll down here make sure I'm seeing everybody's comments so that's a real simple way now the disadvantage you have to leave the window open right so um that's the disadvantage to that part uh, I'm going to stop this right now on this computer and uh, uh, going black on me. I'm just going to close that browser out. I actually had it open twice, so I'm going to close that browser out again. So first things first, you need a Stellite wallet. So a Stellite wallet you can get from, and I'll just copy and paste it right off my screen here. Um, let me copy and paste it right here. Bam. That's the website that I'm on right now. Um, where you get the Stellite wallet. If you There's an option for a paper wallet at the top. If you like paper wallets, that's your thing. My, my thing is I'll probably mine a billion of these things and then my house will catch on fire and burn my paper wallet up. So <laughs> I, uh, I tend to like the GUI wallets better. Um, not that it would be any better in a house fire, but uh, you can go right here and download the GUI wallet, and it'll look like this. So uh, I've got mine up and running right now, right here. Look, looks identical to what's on the screen. Um, and right now, it's looking like I've got 15,000 of these things right now in my wallet. 15,000 Stellite, um, not a bunch, but um, a lot of these came from our pool yesterday, so that's a good thing. Shadow, why do you keep sending me messages? Give me a second. <laughs> so, um, so this right here is the wallet. So you download it, and then once you open it, um, you got to let it sync to the blockchain. But um, you should be able to get your wallet address while it's syncing. So then you can just take that wallet address and plug it into the miner. Good as gold. And that'll work out for you. So one of the questions I had was about awesome miner and how I got awesome miner working so let me see if I can uh, get awesome miner opened up here so you guys can see it and I'm not gonna start awesome miner because awesome miner will lag my computer out while I'm doing all this so this is awesome miner um, 
assuming you already have pools and everything set up, okay, um, first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to options and it's going to pop a window up like this. And once this window opens up, first thing you're going to do if you have pools set up already, like a uCrypto pool, you're going to hit pools and you're going to pick uCrypto out of it. And you see I got uCrypto highlighted. You're going to come down here to edit. You're going to click edit. It will open up a box like this. All right. This is the pool address. You're going to replace the ETN address in the worker name with your Stellite wallet right here. Stellite wallet right here. Very important in the worker name. Password, I just use that for my workers. Um, I just uh, put my name on there so I can tell the different miners from each other, okay? When I look at the web page, which I'll go back and show you in a second. But you're gonna make sure this coin, first off, is changed to unspecified crypto night version seven. Right here on the coin, unspecified crypto night version seven. Right here, and then you're just gonna click okay. Otherwise, you can use these comments, all right? So there's something very important that people are having trouble with and why it's not receiving um, shares. And I'm gonna cover that, like when you start mining and it says low, um, low difficulty share, okay? So I'm going to uh, show you on how to fix that. So um, once you've got that set up, right, that's the pool that we're gonna be mining from. That's the uCrypto pool. Um, and you have to get, um, let me see. So once you got, the pool address shouldn't have changed. If in fact it's your first time mining with us, uh, we can get you this, this URL. Matter of fact, I'll just copy and paste this. There's, you can change the 333 and all of that uh, based on um, the web page. 333 is the lowest one. Uh, for this computer, it was fine. I used the higher difficulties on my mining rig, but I set that in the comments. So we're gonna hit okay once we get all that set up in the pool. All right, so next thing you're gonna do is come over here to your manage on the left to manage miners, you're gonna click that. It's gonna show your two or your one or whatever you have set up in here. I've got the CPU and the GPU set up on here. So I'm gonna to go to CPU first just because it's already highlighted. And I'm gonna click edit. All right, that's gonna pop up a window that looks like this. All right, so description, I just put CPU U crypto. I left it the same. You have to change this algorithm to Crypto Knight version seven. You just do that by hitting the little drop down, and you can see there's Crypto Knight, Crypto Knight Heavy, Crypto Knight Light, and Crypto Knight version seven. We're just going to click version seven. You're going to make sure that you have um, this selected right here uh, for the miner. You can pick whatever mining software you want. I know for a fact that it works with Cast XMR for AMD, Claymore GPU for AMD, it works for XM Rig. All right, so this is a CPU that I'm working with, so I got XM Rig CPU miner selected. You're gonna click that, and then um, you see down here the pool, make sure that says the uCrypto pool that you set up, right? Hopefully everybody's following me still. Once you uh, see that, you're gonna go over here to command line. This is crucial. This is what's gonna stop you from, from getting those low share or low difficulty share errors, okay? You're gonna go to command line and you're gonna, matter of fact, mine's already highlighted, so I'm gonna copy and paste that in here for a comment. You're gonna type this in there, or now that I'm putting it in here, you can just copy and paste it in there. You're gonna put that exact 
line into the command line. Dash dash variant space one. Okay, that's what you're gonna do. And then you're gonna click okay. You're gonna repeat that for your next miner. So you can just edit it. It's gonna pop up the window again. You're gonna make sure this says version seven, Kryptonite version seven. This is an NVIDIA card that's in this computer. So I selected XM rig NVIDIA, clicked that, made sure the pool was uCrypto. I went back to command line. You can see right here again, dash dash variant space one. Okay, and then you're gonna click OK. Make sure that's all good. And OK again. And now, and hopefully I don't crap us out right here, but I'm gonna do it. We're gonna hit start. And boom, you start mining. Now it's gonna take a second to ramp up like everybody already knows. Um, right now, it's uh, showing that I got 60, 80, or 80 hashes a second. Um, typically this CPU does about 100, but I've got a bunch of stuff going on, so um, that's exactly how uh, you get that running. So now everybody should be able to get running very easily. Um, all of the tools are in here. Uh, the only thing that you might have to change is that Stratum plus T, uh, TCP, uh, the last four numbers based on what diff, or what kind of uh, machine you're running, right? So um, it's, it's definitely going to depend on that. You can see that my little miner's still running over here, even with the lag, and this will allow you to start running very easily on our Stellite pool. So just make sure you get that wallet and you get going and uh, very easy. We're actually going to try, we're gonna get the um, web miner we had, or I'm sorry, not the web miner, but the easy miner we had before is completed. We just gotta get uh, Steve and Chris linked up together so they can get the information back and forth to each other so they can get it posted to the web page. Um, otherwise, we might figure out how to host that file on my server and link it somehow. So um, we'll, we'll get that figured out. But at this point, uh, Joey, hopefully this fix you, man. I, I wasn't trying to avoid you. I was just working all weekend, put probably 25, 30 hours in on the um, on getting the server fixed up and you know guys come mine with us we hit six blocks yesterday um, I guess the pool was down for a little bit while the website was being updated so we're a little bit past due for a block right now but I think uh, think we're gonna be good uh, the new website is DDoS attack proof so man Steve thank you dude you're awesome thank you for doing what you do and uh, keeping us up and running and uh, sorry about all the fucking, excuse my French, headaches that uh, have come along with this pool. Um, yeah, so that's all we need to do. Um, good deal. So we just need to get, I, I messaged Chris Doobie. Um, he's probably at work right now, so I'm trying to, the time difference is kind of difficult because we got a small window between when people in the States get off work and Steve, when you over in Europe, you're going to bed, so we're trying to get that uh, figured out. Um, uh, Andrew, that's a good thing, buddy, because we've got um, a browser miner on the web page where you can mine just from your uh, from your browser, or I use Awesome Miner, so um, it, it's really up to you. But XM Rig. Uh, XM or XMR stack will go. Um, cast XMR will, will work. Um, just depending on what you want to use. Um, but we we've got an easy miner that we're working on getting attached to the web page. Um, but right now we do have the web 
the web miner on there. I'll pop back over to that so you guys can see that again. Uh, let me just stop this, uh, stop my miner right there from going. Uh, I'll go ahead and close out Awesome Miner. Uh, come back to our pool. If you look at the bottom of the page right here, there's a web miner. All right, so basically all you do on the web miner is you're gonna click the page, it'll bring it up, you copy and paste on this line right here, it'll say add address here when you first do it the first time. And you just copy and paste your Stellite wallet address right here and click start. So when you click start, you're gonna start seeing some dots come across the bottom. And again, guys, like I said, I'm, I'm streaming a video, so it's taking a lot of my resources and it's, it's gonna start showing us the hashes and everything. I'll give it a few minutes while I'm talking and, and let this come together. We've got a lot of big plans for you, Crypto. Um, hey, Dan, you should try this browser miner, buddy, because you can change the thread count right here. Like I'm using eight threads, you can downgrade it right here and use less to like four. And, you know, or two or whatever you want to use. Let me go ahead and just downgrade that to four and hit enter again. Um, granted, it's not going to hash as much. And, you know, like I said, I'm streaming. So when I tested this before doing the video, it, um, it went ahead and um, it started showing hashes over here and total hashes. So... So that'll give you something really easy that you could do if you're, you know, like me, I'm up, my computer's on all the time. And, you know, if you want that to just run, um, we've got it. If you take the link through our website at ucrypto.com, it'll take you right to our, it's linked to our pool. So come back over here. We got 20 workers uh, going. You know, we got a three hour block time. We need to get more people in here. Um, yesterday we hit four blocks. Um, no, I'm sorry, we hit six blocks uh, yesterday after the pool was released until like one in the morning uh, here. And then we hit, the web miner was added to the page. So there's a little bit of delay in here and that's why you're showing the delay in time. But we're still making upgrades guys and getting things going, but to just to show you, um, we are hitting blocks and paying out. Everything has a link you can check. Um, we hit a couple pool blocks back to back. I mean, like within five minutes of each other. Um, we got a page on here that shows the top 10 miners mining. Um, I'm actually number four right now. Um, so, um, you know, you, there's a, a spot right here for market. It shows you the price right now of Stellite and converts it to USD, to Euros, Canadian dollars. Um, it pulls it from Trade Ogre. Um, you know, if you go to my worker statistics, it shows that I was paid 5,263 Stellite from the pool since yesterday. So, um, definitely gives us an opportunity to get a, a, a coin that is, um, you know, G, what's up, G? So it gives us an opportunity to uh, make some coins, but we did add the web miner to the page, guys. So that's a, no reason why anybody can't join very easily on, on whatever they've got going. And we appreciate you. I appreciate you. Um, if you guys could see the upgrades that are coming for you, Crypto, you would be so excited. And uh, man, come join us. Um, come join us mining. This video, I think, steps through everything. Um, again, if you have some uh, questions or something you want to, uh, oh, matter of fact, you can see right here that my computer was mining four minutes ago. Um, 
and and we'll uh, we'll try to get them answered. Uh, that browser miner just uses the CPU right now, Andrew. The uh, easy miner that we have um, that we have to get uploaded to the page, you can actually use both CPU or GPU. Um, so that will be um, it's actually already done. It just has to be linked to the web page. Um, and we'll try to, we're trying to get that coordinated to get done today sometime so everybody can uh, you know use what they want. Otherwise, if you're in a hurry, I recommend uh, Awesome Miner. I do have a video on my YouTube channel. Uh, let me see if I can link it. Um, now I know, guys, that it has, um, that it says ETN on it, but if you substitute ETN, for Stellite, everything else will be the same on it. Uh, I've got a lot of videos, so let me scroll down and find it for you. Um, not that one. All right. I think it's this one. All right, so pretty sure this is it. Everything is the same on this uh, video, except for, whoops. Where are we at here? Except for what I just um, what I just set up. All right. So if you substitute uh, ETN for Stellite uh, and use your Stellite wallet address as compared to um, ETN and follow the steps I just said in this video, you should be uh, you should be on point. I use uh, Awesome Miner myself. Um, I like it a lot. It's pretty simple to set up. You just fill in some blanks and you can follow that that video that I just linked to Andrew. Very easy uh, to follow. You just have to put your Stellite wallet address in there and uh, change the algorithm to the version 7 and put the variant in the command line and you'll be good to go. Real simple. So anyway guys, I appreciate you guys for watching and uh, you know, I think this will definitely um, help us get more people in there. Please share this video out uh, when I'm done, and uh, it'll show you exactly how to um, how to you know get more people in the pool so we can get a more consistent flow of Stellite coming in. And thank you all so much for watching, and we will talk to you later, guys. Have a good day.